Hello, my dear students. We are now going to take up another aspect of reconstitution of partnership. We already discussed the admission of a partner. Now we take up the retirement of a partner. When there are three partners, one of them goes, he leaves his share behind and the other two partners continue the business. This needs a new partnership agreement. Now the new partnership agreement will be between the new partners. One agreement between three partners among the three partners is over and a new agreement between two partners after the retirement comes into existence. Now, when a partner retires, the first thing that you have to calculate or find out is what is the new ratio of the new partners after retirement. And another thing which you have to calculate is that when one partner goes, he leaves his share for the other two partners. The share of the remaining partners, continuing partners will not be the same, it will increase. The share of the retiring partner will be merged into the shares of the old partners. Maybe it is merged in both the partners shares or maybe it is merged only in one partner shares. You will be given the situations regarding what happens when a partner goes and leaves his share behind. There are around seven situations which I will discuss with you which come up when a partner retires. And I have mentioned these seven situations here. They are number one, when there are three partners A, B and C, their ratio is 5 is to 3 is to 2 and any one of them retires. You are given only A retires, B retires or C retires. If A retires, the remaining partners are B and C. If B retires, the remaining partners are A and C. And if C retires, the remaining partners are A and B. So, first situation is this, that you are only given that there are three partners A, B and C and one of them retires, what will be the new ratio? This is the first case. When you have A, B and C, the ratio is 5, 3, 2, this is the ratio. Now, if A retires, his ratio goes. In this case, when you are given the old ratio and only this is given that A retires, the new ratio between B and C will be 3 is to 2. This will be the new ratio. You do not have to do anything. You have simply to remove A, you have to remove only A and then you get B and C, this is their new ratio. And supposing instead of A going, it is B which goes, so remove B, then A and C will share in the ratio of 5 is to 2. And if C goes, B does not go, then remove C along with the ratio, this will be the new ratio of A and B. So, you get new ratio, you simply remove the person who is retiring, the remaining will be the new ratio of the continuing partners. This is how in the first case and this is very common. Examiners generally ask this, if it is going to be a simple question, it is like this, A, B, C are partners, their ratio is 3 is to 2 is to 1 or 5 is to 3, 3 is to 2, one of them retires, the remaining will have the rest ratio. Now, once this ratio is uh, known, say <coughs> A's ratio is 5, B's ratio is 3 and C is 2 and say A goes 
and the remaining ratio is 3 is to 2. The next thing that you have to calculate is calculation of gaining ratio. Now, what is the gaining ratio? This A has gone and the new ratio of B and C. The new ratio of B and C is 3 upon 5 and 2 upon 5. And their old ratio was 3 upon 10 and 2 upon 10. Look, old ratio is 3 upon 10, this is 2 upon 10 and new is 3 upon 5 and 2 upon 5. So, naturally the new partners B and C, they have gained. How they have gained? We will calculate new ratio new ratio minus old ratio. This is how you calculate the gaining ratio. New ratio minus old ratio will give you the gaining ratio because new ratio is higher B, B's new ratio is 3 upon 5, the new ratio 3 upon 5 and the old ratio was 3 upon 10. So, this means this gives you 6 minus 3, 3 upon 10 and C, C is a new ratio is 2 upon 5 minus 2 upon 10, this gives you 10, uh, 4 minus 2, this is 2 upon 10. So, the gaining ratio is 3 is to 2 gaining ratio therefore is 3 is to 2. Do you notice one thing? Their new ratio is 3 is to 2 and gaining ratio is also 3 is to 2. See the beautiful thing. Their new ratio is 3 is to 2 and gaining ratio also is 3 is to 2. So, whenever you calculate general rule, remember the general rule, whenever you calculate new ratio like this, that A goes B and C new ratio 3 is to 2, their gaining ratio also is 3 to 2. If B goes A and C, their new ratio is 5 is to 2, their gaining ratio also will be 5 is to 2. C goes A and B, their ratio is 5 is to 3, their gaining ratio also will be 5 is to 3. This is very simple and this should be kept in mind. And whenever you solve a question, if this situation comes, very quickly find out the new ratio, leave the person who has gone, the rest is the new ratio and the same will be the gaining ratio, right? Now, we come to the second case. Second case is A, B, C, they have 5, 4, 5, 6. The ratio is 4 is to 5 is to 6 and once C goes, when C goes, C's share 6, C's, C's share is 6 upon 15 and it is taken over by A and B equally. This is very interesting case and this is different from the first one. Now, first one is simplest of all. There are 7 cases, first one is simplest of all. Second one is little tricky. What is the trick in it? A, B, C, A, B and C, their ratio is 4 is to 5 is to 6, that means 4 by 15, 5 by 15 and 6 by 15. In this case, C retires, C retires and his share is 6 by 15. This is taken over by A and B equally, this goes equally to A and B. So, if I divide it in two parts, what is A's share and what is B's share, earlier it was 4 by 15 and it was 5 by 15. Now, they get from C, C's share is 6 by 15, 
6 by 15 equal to parts into 1 by 2. That means this is 6 by 30. So, 6 by 30 and 6 by 30. It is divided in two parts 6 by 30 and 6 by 30. That means these two parts they are equal to parts of 6 by 15. Right? So, this 6 by 30 is added to this 6 by 30 plus 6 by 30. So, I have said 6 by 15 is divided equally goes to A and B. It goes equally to A and B. Now, what is their share? This is 30, 30, 8 plus 6. This is 14 upon 30 and this is 30. 30, 10 plus 6. This is 16 upon 30. Now, new ratio. New ratio is, new ratio is between A and B. A and B, this is 14, 16. 14, 16. Or it can be 7 is to 8. This is the new ratio. Now, what is the gaining ratio? Gaining ratio is new ratio minus old ratio. New ratio minus old ratio. This is gaining ratio. Either you calculate like this or it is very clear. A has gained this much. B has gained this much. They have gained equally, no need to calculate. Even if you calculate, it will become the same. It will be the same. If you calculate new ratio, new ratio is this one, 14 upon 30, 16 upon 30. If out of these 14, 30 and 16, 30, you deduct 4 by 15 and 5 by 15, you will get 630, 630. Because we have added equal proportions to their ratios and therefore their gaining ratio will also be the same. That was the second case where A, B, C, 3 partners, C retires, their ratio is 4, 5 and 6 and this 6 goes equally to A and B. Even here also, supposing I don't write it here, this is 4, this is 5, this is 6. If 6 is divided in two parts, 3 and 3, add 3 here, it is 7. Add 3 here, it is 8. That way also it can be done. But you must be very systematic while calculating it. And once you do something systematically, there is zero chance of any confusion or getting wrong results. Now, come to the third case. Third case is again a little different from first and second. What is that? There it is A, B, C, three partners. Their ratio is 3 to 1. The ratio is 3 to 1. A, B, C, 3 to 1. This is their ratio and uh, new ratio also is given. The new ratio is A and C. A and C, their new ratio is 4 is to 3. This is their ratio. So, new ratio given. New ratio is given old ratio is given. Both are given. This can be the case and this is also very good. Simple. You do not have to calculate any new ratio. You have simply to calculate the gaining ratio and gaining ratio is always new ratio minus old ratio. Only gaining ratio here is to be calculated and gaining ratio is new ratio minus old ratio equal to gaining ratio. This formula, our old ratio is A 
What was the age? Age is 3 by 6. This is 3 by 6, 2 by 6 and 1 by 6. Age old ratio is new ratio. Age new ratio is 4 by 7. New ratio is 4 by 7. And B is new ratio, C is new ratio is 3 by 7. And A's old ratio is 3 by 6. And C's old ratio is 1 by 6. Now you deduct this old ratio from the new ratio. This will be equal to what will be it goes minus 21. Uh, Seven. So this is equal to three upon forty two, and this is equal to eleven upon forty two. So the gaining ratio, gaining ratio, my dear students, comes to three is to eleven. This is the gaining ratio that A and C have gained in the ratio of. 3 is the lap. I repeat, A, B, C had the ratio 3 to 1 and their new ratio also given 4 is to 3. Now new ratio is higher than the old ratio. Gaining ratio will be new ratio minus old ratio. New ratio of A and C is 4 is to 3. This one deduct out of this 3 is to 1, 3 by 6 and 4 by 6. So you get it is 3 by 42 and it is 11 by 42. So, 3 is to 11 is the gaining ratio. This is the uh, 